Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Chatting with Chops. Today we're going to attempt to make a copycat Starbucks coffee cake recipe. Not only are we going to attempt the recipe, but then we're going to try and see if we can make it vegan. So let's get started. Um, copycat Starbucks coffee cake. No, there's no coffee in it. Even though it's called coffee cake, you eat it with your coffee. And um, of course, we're going to try and make this vegan today. The fun thing about most of these recipes that you do, it's not that hard to make them vegan. We're going to need vegan butter. We would need to substitute our eggs with applesauce, and then we're going to need some vegan evaporated milk. But that's really the three components, and we're going to see how well it turns out. As I've said before, sometimes these recipes you get offline, they're not exactly perfect, so they kind of get a little wonky when you make them. But when you start messing with the ingredients, baking is like a science. You start messing with your ingredients, sometimes it can make the recipe be a little bit off. I'm going to hope that maybe this will make this one a little bit more moist. The first thing we need to do is to start our topping that's going to go on top of the coffee cake. So we need one cup of flour. Okay. I'm putting this in a separate bowl. One cup of flour, and then we need our one cup of brown sugar. And if you haven't watched some of my other videos, I like to use a half a cup just because it's easier to fit in a lot of my containers, and it's a little bit easier for me to manage. So I just like using a half a cup, a little bit easier. Looks like I'm just barely gonna have two cups. That works out great. Or excuse me, I'm sorry, one cup. I'll put all of that in there. And then we need a stick of softened butter. I'm yeah, a stick because it's a half a cup. So we put got our butter in there. And then we're gonna do one teaspoon of cinnamon. And my family loves cinnamon, so I'm probably gonna give a nice healthy uh, portion of cinnamon. One teaspoon. So we have a nice heaping portion of teaspoon. Love that cinnamon. Okay, and then we're gonna mix this all together. Just kind of give it a good little swirl. funny the recipe actually says this should have the consistency of moist sand so now we want to put a half a cup of chopped pecans well I've decided to use walnuts which again with most of these recipes you can change the nuts around if you want to it doesn't matter you can use what you want okay. I've got a little bit left in the container I'm gonna dump that in All right. I'm just going to mix that in so the nuts are nice and mixed in with my wet sand, as it said. Okay, so we're going to set that aside, and I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven, because my oven is really old, and it takes a minute, but I'm going to pre preheat it to 325 degrees. So we need to cream our butter in a separate bowl. All right, so we need one cup of butter, which you know is basically two sticks and you need them to be softened a little bit. So I stuck them in the microwave for a minute. Oof, that made a terrible sound. Make sure I get all of that. All right, so we are going to take three fourths of a cup of brown sugar and put it in here with our butter. All right, two and three okay. and then we need a half a cup of regular sugar and there's our half a cup and now we're going to cream that together and make it all nice and pretty all right 
So the next thing we want to do is add in our eggs and vanilla. So we're adding in our unsweetened applesauce, which is asking for two eggs. So that is basically the equivalent of one of these little fruit cups. It's four ounces and it's the equivalent of two eggs. So we're going to pour that in here. We have our two eggs in, and I love using vanilla bean paste, so we're gonna use our vanilla bean paste. And we need one and a half teaspoons of vanilla bean paste. Okay, so we've used our applesauce, our four ounce cup of applesauce for the eggs, and then we have our vanilla bean paste in here, and now we need to mix this up real well. Now what we're gonna do in a separate bowl is we're gonna put our two cups of flour, which I've already measured out. So we need one teaspoon of baking powder. Got that in there. And then we need our salt. We need a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, there's our fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna swirl that a little bit so our baking powder isn't sitting in all in one spot. So now we're going to start adding our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our vegan evaporated milk or half and half. If you can find vegan half and half, that's great. Um, evaporated milk is a great uh, substitution. A third of a cup of that. And we'll put that in there. And now we're going to mix that up really well. So I noticed the recipe was talking about how um, you were supposed to sprinkle the this topping on top of your cake. And I realized mine was a little too wet. So what I've gone back to do is just added some more brown sugar and a little bit more cinnamon. And you see how it's gotten a little bit more of a sand consistency. It's a little bit more of a sprinkle consistency. It's a little, still a little bit too wet, but we're gonna work with this and see what we can do. All right, so I'm gonna spray my bowl down really good. Hopefully my cake won't stick now. And then I'm gonna take my batter and put it into my pan. I always like to get off as much as I can off of my beater. More cake right there. Okay. Okay. And then just give it one good swirl. Make sure there's nothing sticking to the very bottom that the beater might have missed. This is a 9 by 13 pan. That is what the recipe recommended. So I'm going to try and get all of this. I don't want to miss out on any of this good cake batter. And then we're just going to smooth this around a little bit and try and get it nice and even. It'll cook better if it's nice and evenly distributed in your pan. Okay. And again, if you forgot earlier, go ahead and preheat your oven to 325 degrees. Okay. And now what we're going to do, I always like to not miss out on any of this. It just seems like such a waste. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this crumble mix that we've made, I'm just gonna take it with my hands and just kind of sprinkle it over the top. Breaking up any of the like big clumps that might still be in it, because like I said, it's supposed to be sprinkled, but it still seems like it's a little bit thick, so I'm just kind of helping it out a little bit. If you don't like getting your hands dirty, then 
get you a pair of gloves a nice pair of kitchen gloves will work all right and then we're going to stick this in the oven at 325 degrees for about 50 minutes keep her close to eye on it and when the edges start turning a little bit light brown then that's when you're supposed to take it out okay so just took this out of the oven um it ended up cooking for about 55 minutes again the recipe said 50 minutes but you just never know with your oven you just kind of have to work with it a little bit and it's definitely brown on the edges and because it's in a glass bowl i can look at the bottom and see the, the bottom's nice and brown i don't see any wet spots so i'm just going to let this sit here and cool for a little while and then we'll cut it and see how it tastes i did run a knife around the edge to kind of break it up you know, those things always seem to stick even when you don't want them to and the first piece always seems to be the hardest to get out of the container I don't know why I don't know if it's because you just don't have any leverage or what yet but oh it's a little bit crumbly that's good as far as I know coffee cake's supposed to be crumbly so there we go there's our lovely coffee cake oh that's really delicious We've got the walnut and the cinnamon and that wonderful brown sugar with the nice cake part of it. That is really, really good. Hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. And I hope that you enjoy my regular bakes as well. I do vegan bakes as well as low calorie and budget friendly bakes. And then also bakes for two. So I will catch you on the next bake.